Hey everybody. Um, I'm going to attempt to make a video to make some fresh squeezed lemonade. But first off, I want to point out my lemons I got for free yesterday on my way home from going out to feed my horse and clean stalls and do all that stuff. Um, we have orchards all around our house, so a lot of lemons fall on the ground. And on our way home, I was telling my oldest daughter that different ways to get free food and how to, how you can pick up lemons or anything that's like over someone's um, property line. If it's hanging off a tree, it's free for the pickings. So we got about uh, six or seven lemons. They're pretty good. Some of them had some bruising on the skins, but the insides are nice and yummy. And this right here, this beast of a juicer, well, citrus press, I guess. I got this at a yard sale for $18. See, I left the tag on it. I'm notorious for doing that. But I think it's like my way of showing I got a good deal on something. Anyways, it has three parts to it. It's got the little funnel spout, put that in there first, then it has the cone that the fruit sits on, and looks like a beehive, with holes for the juice to go down into the funnel, and the bottom has nothing there, just the base, hopefully that doesn't fall. Uh, let me get a bowl. I can make about one eight ounce glass of lemon juice. This is a big lemon, it's like the size of a fist. So I just roll it on the counter first to loosen up the pulp. And every part of this lemon I'm gonna save. And just half the lemon, stick it in the juicer. Then, don't smash my fingers. I'm gonna press it down. I do have a strainer just in case like extra pulp comes through. I can strain the pulp out so nobody chokes on it. These lemons are a little bit smaller than the press, so I'm going to turn it to get the juice out of the other side. And I have some fresh squeezed lemon juice. You can't see that, but it's in there. Now I'm going to do the other half, if I can get this to stay still. There we go. Okay. Second lemon half. Now I usually don't measure anything when I cook or make some stuff unless it's like really, really specific. So I'm going to kind of measure this as I go along. So what I've got here is the juice from one whole medium to large size lemon. I'm going to take my funnel, put my strainer, my mesh strainer, stick it over the top of the cup, and pour the lemon juice through there. That's probably about a quarter cup of lemon juice. I'm going to take the sugar and mix. I'm going to pour it into the cup. I'm not going to measure it, just eyeballing it. Teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, tablespoon, whatever tastes good to you. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to get a baby spoon, which I use for everything, like mixing my coffee and creamer. Whoops, excuse me. But mix up the sugar and the lemon juice. Mm, I already filled this cup up, which is probably it's probably a 10 ounce cup. I filled it about three quarters of the way, and then I put it into the measuring cup, just so I could tell you guys how much water per lemon juice to make one glass of fresh lemonade, like by serving. So this was three fourths a cup of cold water and 
I'm going to pour it into the lemon juice mixed with sugar. I'm going to taste it just for flavor's sake. It's a little bit more sugar. Not much though. <clears throat> so you can leave it as it is, chill it in the fridge, or just drink it. But what I did to make strawberry lemonade, you know these little bottles of Mio? I've had this in the pantry for like, I don't know, months. It says it makes 24 servings, but it goes like a long, long way. And it's strawberry flavored. So it's strawberry watermelon flavored. So I'm going to make strawberry watermelon lemonade. Just put like a gentle one, two squirts. Like, like I said, it's very, very flavorful. Can you just mix that in there? It tastes so good. Now, like pink lemonade, I think it's gross. It makes you more thirsty. But that I could probably drink. <clears throat> okay, so we made the lemonade. Let me fix this. Or I might have to make a part two. Let's we'll see. Okay, right here, I have my lemons. the lemons. I'm going to take all of the pulp out of the lemons. I'm going to go through and make sure I got all the seeds out because I want to keep the seeds. Whenever I get fresh produce, I always keep the seeds. I rinse them, I dry them on a paper towel, and then I keep my seasoning jars, or if you have, you know, the cans of stinky cheese, the dried Parmesan cheese, I wash those containers out, and I put like dried corn in there, and seeds for my lemons, cantaloupe, all kinds of stuff. Let's see, right here, this is full of cantaloupe seeds. The kids and I took out. This is just from one cantaloupe. I got all these seeds. Like, how much cantaloupe can you grow from just one cantaloupe of seeds? And again, that's free food. And these are bell pepper seeds. Dollar store glass seasoning jar. I love the dollar store. Seeds, bell peppers. <clears throat> okay, back to what I was saying. Keeping the peels, taking the meat out of the guts out of the lemon peels. And then, after we're done doing that, You can probably dry out the pulp if you wanted to, pulverize it, get some vitamin C, but I just throw it in the compost, I don't really dry out the inside. Come on, out. Okay. Maybe. Right, there we go. Okay. For these lemon peels, I'm going to break them in half, turn them up into little pieces. What I'm going to do with that is move that out of my way. Right here, this has some orange peels in it mixed with vinegar. I made this yesterday. I'm going to let it steep in this jar for about two to three weeks. And this vinegar that's in here is going to soak up all that citrus oil that's in those orange peels. Here's another one from yesterday's lemons. 
After this is steep for about two to three weeks, all that citrus in there is going to be soaked up in the vinegar. You're infusing the vinegar. Yep, it's already starting to smell good. It still smells like stinky feet from the vinegar, but that's okay. And I have another jar right here, old strawberry jar. It's clean. I'm going to, because I only have one lemon, I'm going to take it, fill it with some white vinegar, and fill this one about half, yeah, one third of the way up. Super simple. Make your own cleaning solution. No chemicals, all natural. Lemons are naturally antibacterial. If you run out of dish soap, just cut a lemon in half, sprinkle some salt on it, scrub your dishes, put them in the garbage disposal. You can dry the lemon peels and pulverize them, add vitamin C to smoothies. Tons of yummy stuff. Add it to ice cream, make some lemon zest, add it to your Thai cuisine, anything. And who doesn't like the smell of lemons? It's totally like refreshing. And it tastes good. Make some lemon bars. Which I've never made, but my mom has. They're pretty good. Especially during the summertime. Or you could just take the lemon zest, throw it in an ice tray, fill the ice tray, fill your ice cubes, and then you've got lemon zest ice cubes for your ice water when it's hot out. Super refreshing. Or to put into your iced tea. Putting all these pieces in here. I don't want these funky colored pieces either. That one has like a little bruise where it hit the ground. I don't want that one in there. Almost done. I'm trying to keep this short. This is probably going to be the longest video I've ever made. Okay. All done. It's on in the jar. Looks pretty. It's going to get cloudy. But after it's steeped for a couple weeks, you just pour it back through a strainer into a clean dish. And then after it's in that clean dish, you can pour it back into your jar. And then what you can do is take your vinegar, your citrus infused vinegar, and add it to a spray bottle, but don't use all of it in one whole bottle. It's like concentrate, so you'd put like half and half with water and use that to clean your bathroom, around the house, to dust. Use it for several things. These are my dried seeds from yesterday that I cleaned. So I'm going to make little seed trays and try to get these started into some trees. It'll take a couple years for them to get big enough to plant and be healthy, but we'll see how they do. Put your lid on. You can go ahead and stick this in a window seal or someplace where you can get some light. Like over here, probably blinding. Here's my kitchen window seal. See all those plants? That's lemon balm right there. Then we got aloe vera. This is German thyme. This is chocolate mint right here. It smells so good. These are angel plants for my daughter's fairy garden that she's going to do for 4 H. And this is some celery from the stock that I just put in a glass to grow. But I'm going to stick this up on top of the microwave. Because I don't have room in the windowsill. So it's just going to sit there. So I get some light. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope it was good information for you. See you later. Cheers.